Seeing as it was my anniversary yesterday, well, actually, I'm filming it on my anniversary, but um, I'm uploading it the day after. Anyway, February 17th, 2011, exactly a year today, yesterday, um, I came out to the world, and, you know, I thought that it was about due time I told my story um, about how I did it. Well, I need to start back in 2007 when I first started getting these feelings um, for other boys. Um, it was a very, very difficult time. Um, well, I, I had them for a long time before that, maybe 2004, 2005. Um, but when, when I started secondary school, in 2007, that's when I first started taking these feelings seriously. Um, so I got, I was very upset. Uh, I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, I was really confused. And then, then I just realised why, why should I, why should I have to change for other people? So I decided in year eight, 2008, um, to tell my best friend. So I told him. Um, I, I had this picture of this boy I liked and I just, I didn't say a word, just pulled the image out of my pocket and I unfolded it and hold, held it in front of him. And he just said, you're gay aren't you? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and then we just talked about it and it felt amazing to have told somebody um, but then I started telling more people uh, friends and about maybe six people no, maybe six people I had really close friends and then in 2010 I know it was really late but um, May 10th 2010 three weeks before this I started I was like it's too late in my life I need to tell something right now I wanted to tell my mum, and um, for three weeks, I decided I was going to write her a letter. So I wrote this letter for her, and um, it took me three weeks to write. I must have written it like 300 times, and eventually I just decided, okay, I'll, I'll just give it to her. On uh, May 10th, 2010, I woke up really, really early because I was just so scared excited at the same time and I was texting my best friend like what should I do when should I do it and he was just like just do it I'm I'm with you all the way and he was he was really supportive and um my other friend uh, she was very supportive as well and uh, I had this letter ready and I went downstairs and I made my mum a cup of tea and I was procrastinating for about 20 minutes um doing different things to try and give it this letter and eventually I just made this cup of tea, put it on the tray and put the letter underneath the cup and I gave her the tray with the tea on it and she said, oh what's this, what's this piece of paper and uh, she picked it up and I, I was just silent and I stood there while she read it and she finished reading it and she paused, she was just, she paused and then she looked up at me and as soon as she caught eye contact, I broke down. I did. Um, it's probably the hardest thing I've had to do in my life. I'm not even joking. It's so, so difficult to do. You don't even understand. Well, the gay people out there do, of course, and lesbians and bisexuals, but straight people, you just don't get it. 
but it was so hard and I didn't but I broke down and I was in floods of tears and she didn't she, uh, it was when I caught eye contact and uh, everything was better because I closed my eyes and I just felt her arms go around me and I just knew everything was going to be okay and uh, it was great. So everything was fine, uh, we told my family uh, a long time. Uh, over the, the three months after that we told all of my family, all of my family know now. Uh, well they knew, that they've known for a long time. Anyway. And then um, I got to I got to February, February 2011, the 17th to be exact. But a couple of weeks before this, I was just like, oh, I need to tell the world. I'm fed up of keeping this secret, and I started telling more people, people that I, were my friends, but not necessarily close friends. So I started telling people, and then February 17th, 2011. I came home and I was like, okay, I need to tell everybody. And I had a lot of Facebook friends at the time. I've removed lots of people now because I don't see the need having them there. But anyway, so I came home and I wrote this long-winded status. It was probably like two paragraphs long and I just, I posted it. And uh, yeah, and um, I got big response. And it's just, it felt so good. It felt great to do. And since then, I have been completely open with it. Um, I don't care what people think. My life is my life and it's nothing to do with anybody. And it just felt so great to finally do it. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that I can walk down the street and not have to care what people think. I can wear whatever I like, whenever I like. I can, I can dance in Starbucks, I can do whatever I like because I'm gay and I don't care what other people think. I am living my life to the full and I'm not going to be shy to please other people. I'm going to be who I am and yeah. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to reply. I'll reply to all comments on this video because I think that I need to help and it was my coming out story is a lot longer than this and this 8 minute video-ish is not going to sum up everything but it was just such a great experience and it hurt, sometimes it hurt, it really did and um, I went through many years of torment in primary school but I found that I got to secondary school and I was just like I'm gonna live, who cares, it's my life so I just did it and it felt amazing. So, yeah, um, any questions down below, I will answer every single one. And yeah, um, so thanks for being here with me on the journey. It's been absolutely great. I will love you and leave you. Goodbye. Could I possibly have your permission to um, ask for your, your daughter's hand in marriage? Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, say why you're doing it.